Hi, good morning Grade 4s and welcome to our uh, science session for today. Today we're going to be looking at the water cycle and I'm going to do an experiment or show you an experiment that you guys can do at home um, that shows you how the water cycle works and also shows you how the water cycle actually purifies water, in other words makes it clean. Because you've got to remember, the water we have on Earth is all the water that we've got. The water that you drink here, yeah, that same water has actually passed through the mouths of dinosaurs and creatures that have long since died millions and billions of years ago. Okay, so my assistant's going to join us very quickly over here. Hi! There we go. And I'm going to go through the things that you'll need. So the first thing you're going to need is a plastic see-through container over there. And then you're going to go into the garden and get yourself a little bit of dirt. All right, so you want to add our dirt into our container there. Okay, excellent, fantastic. And then we're going to add a little bit of salt. Yeah, that's fantastic. And then, yeah, we're going to add some vinegar. Okay, now I know what you're thinking, this is a pretty disgusting concoction. Well, that's the whole point. I'm going to show you this experiment, that's great. Just how, you know, the, through the water cycle, right, we can take water that is essentially undrinkable, because I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to drink this, and purify it so that you actually are able to drink it. Okay, so now, as you know, this bit over here in our container represents all the sources of water that we have um, on Earth. So this is going to be your seas, your oceans, your rivers, and your lakes. And we know that that water is not always particularly clean. But through the process of the water cycle, that water actually gets purified. Now, we know that at the start of the water cycle, we have um, the heat bearing down on the different sources of water and causing evaporation to take place so that the water vapor then rises up into the air. Now, we obviously haven't got a sun over here, so what we're going to use is boiling water. So, as you can see there, that water is really, really hot. So, please make sure that you get an adult to help you with this. All right, so we're going to pour some boiling water into it's our concoction really over there. Hot. Okay, all right. And then, we're going to take another container over here, like so. And as you can see, this container is completely empty. Yes, there's nothing yeah, in there. All right, it's really completely empty. empty. And we're going to put it inside our container, like so. And that's going to represent... The, uh, that's why it's green, it's going to represent the land, all right, where our rain eventually is going to fall upon. Then you need, all right, some cling film, and this is going to be our atmosphere, all right. So you need to very carefully put some cling wrap, yeah, on your container, yeah, bunch it up nice and tight over there. Okay, now, we know that the water vapor now is rising up through the process of the evaporation and eventually it's going to reach a point in the atmosphere where it starts to condensate in other words get cooler all right now obviously we have the, our container is not very tall so it's not going to there's not going to be much difference in temperature from here to there so what we're going to use to cool off our water vapor is ice so what you do there now is you take a couple of ice blocks and you put it in the middle of your container like so all together like that all right okay okay right and the idea now is that that water vapor yeah is rising up into the air all right it eventually reaches a point in the atmosphere where it starts to cool all right and then condensation happens so we know with condensation yeah that gas that water vapor starts to turn into a liquid and this ice over here and this plastic cling wrap is actually my clouds all right and we know eventually what's going to happen is that water vapor is going to start getting heavier and heavier and heavier till eventually that water vapor cannot stay in the air any longer and it starts falling back to earth. In this case, it's going to fall, start falling back into our green container. Now, in the water cycle, we know it as rain, but it's also called precipitation, which is the scientific word for rain. So I would leave this uh, for about 10, 15 minutes, yeah, just to give it a, a decent amount of time for condensation to occur and then for the precipitation in other words the water vapor falling back to earth to happen as well all right so i would put this away leave it for 10 minutes or 15 minutes and come back and have a look at it so for the sake of our video yeah this is one we did earlier all right and as you can see all right i've got my dirty water over there i had my ice blocks over there they have now melted completely so condensation uh, or melting is taking place. The condensation has happened and hopefully my precipitation has now occurred into my 
uh, empty container in the middle of there. So now what you need to do is, is very carefully unwrap the cling wrap, make sure that none of this water falls back into our container over here. So we need to be very careful when we're taking it off. And there we go. So none of it, as you can see, none of it there is going into the container. So we'll put that over there. And now what we're going to do is we should look inside there and we should see, can you actually see any water in there? Yes. Right. Now the true test is, is has this water, this mucky, dirty water in here, has the water cycle actually purified it so that I am able to drink this water? What do you reckon? Should I take a chance? Are you prepared to drink some? No. No? Okay, here we go. Is it clean? Yeah, that's pretty clean. What? Look at that. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. Don't taste hardly any of the salt. There's no dirt. Can you see it's there's no dirt in there? Yeah. It's very, very clean. Yeah. So that just shows you how the water cycle actually purifies our water for us. And it's really important because you can imagine, as I said earlier, right at the start of the video, the amount of water that we have on Earth is finite, it's fixed. There's that's only so much water we have. So it's really important to protect it. Anyway, hope you found this really video interesting. And um, you can, as I said, you can go out and use this video to try and do the experiment by yourself at home. Good luck and thank you very much for helping me. You're welcome, Mr. Bunny Bye. Bye-bye.